Is that a JoJo's reference? The four-star Punch Monk Martha is hitting the beach. Martha is currently the only four-star ruler in the game, so with an HP of 11,250 and an attack of 9,546, she is the clear winner for the first place spot. And if that wasn't impressive enough, she is the only ruler in the game right now with a one quick one arts three buster deck and that deck has four hits on the quick card three on the arts and one on that buster she does have an np gain of 0.76 percent on her attack rocking a flat 10 percent star rate and a star rate of 102 no real traits of note other than causing masters to be weak against waifu bait. As Martha does have that buster heavy deck, in order to get the most out of your NP gain, you are going to want to go arts buster quick. This will net you about 26.6% of your NP gauge. Now, if you are going stars, you are going to want to go buster buster quick. This will net you anywhere from 11 to 17 stars. And obviously, if you are looking to do the most damage, you will want to rock the buster chain. However, if that is not available, I would suggest Buster Buster Arts. Unlike other Summer Servants, she doesn't come with Beach Flower. Thank God I was tired of talking about that. Instead, her first skill is Holy Maiden of the Waterside B+. I would have preferred Holy Maiden of the Waterslide because the mental picture is way funnier. This is going to increase your NP gauge and increase attack when water slides. I mean, when near a waterside. Now, much like Gwen's skill, this is going to be super niche and you really shouldn't rely or judge the skill based on the secondary effect. It does increase NP gauge from 20 to 30%, so your basic NP gauge battery. If you happen to be fighting at a water site, however, you are going to net yourself a 10 to 20% boost in attack. This is on an eight turn cooldown, so six turns when maxed out. All right, next skill is Natural Body A. Martha's definitely not on the juice, and those babies are all natural. Her second skill applies a debuff block one time and heals for 1,000 to 3,000 HP on a seven turn cooldown. So when this is maxed out, this baby is gonna be able to go off every five turns, and you can block a debuff and heal yourself for 3K. Add in the ruler class advantage, and this makes her a massive tank. And that debuff block doesn't have a timer, by the way. Now, third skill, Limbs of Jacob. I imagine that Jacob's the name of the last guy who tried to get a little frisky with this sexy saint. Limbs of Jacob applies a special damage to Martha's attack, so when she is laying the hurt down on things that are divine, evil, undead, or demons, basically bosses, she is going to be punching holes through them that even flex tape will have a hard time fixing. For one turn, she is going to be dropping 50 to 100% more damage against those targets. Now, she only comes with one passive. It's a pretty solid passive, though. Magic Resistance EX. This increases debuff resist by 25%. Couple that with her second skill, and well, not much is going to be sticking to this sexy summer servant. Moving on to her noble phantasm. This time, the Tarask is back, and we are looking at a single target noble phantasm. 600% to 1000% damage, like most single target bustled noble phantasms, but this also drops the defense on the enemy on overcharge 10% to 50% at overcharge one versus overcharge five this does activate prior to the NP damage so not only are you bringing the pain but you're gonna be dishing out even more damage however the downside is this only lasts for one turn so really no real follow-up afterwards the nice thing about this coupled with her three buster cards is it should be fairly easy to set up a buster brave chain off of her noble phantasm and just absolutely wreck some face for Ascension Materials, well, rulers are rulers, and as long as you have an abundance of pieces and monuments, you will be fine. I actually love this because with all of the events, I am practically overflowing with them. When it comes to skills, well, this is pretty easy-ish, too. If you are overflowing with gems, that is four of each gem up until level eight, and then you will need six tier stones of blood and then 12 dragon scales. 
which is going to be pretty brutal. 36 scales is pretty rough to max all three skills. I would suggest maxing her second skill as that heal is going to be huge and keeping Martha going the distance. Afterwards, I would level up skill three as the extra 10% NP gain that you get is outweighed by the extra 50% damage when fighting the big baddies. Now, what gear should you be running on this monster hunting Martha? Well, your standard buster base damage dealer loadout, golden sumo limited zero over black grail. However, if you want to capitalize on the durability of her second skill, you can rock moon goddess's bath or made in Halloween. When it comes to teammates, you are going to want to run support that can supplement the fact that Martha really doesn't have much in the way of buster or damage steroids other than her third skill, which is only in certain situations. However, right off the bat, you're gonna go, oh, hey, looks like a job for Waver and Hans, and well, you wouldn't be wrong. Shakespeare is also a good option with not only Buster Up, but a targetable NP gauge increase, which she can also make good use of. Now, outside of support, you can also run Emmy Assassin to take advantage of her class advantage and tankiness by dropping the targetable taunt onto her, as well as providing extra stars. Additionally, the detriment of his second skill won't bother Martha too much as the 20% decrease to debuff resist will still leave her with an extra 5% from her passives, which is actually better than some other servant's whole passive. Additionally, teaming her up with a Nightingale for that targetable buster buff is a very viable option as well. So overall, at the end of the day, not only is Martha the only ruler in the game currently that is geared towards being heavily offensive, but she is the only ruler to rock that three buster deck with the buster NP. Her ruler class advantage makes her very tanky, however, she will tend to get outclassed and damaged by servants who can bring class advantage. On the upside, she will do flat damage to most classes, so you can bring her to more fights than just what she has advantage against. Her health, while top of the charts for four-star rulers, because there's only one, does fall about middle of the pack in terms of four stars in general. However, she is built to be durable and boasts some of the best durability when it comes to four stars. She does not, however, have an evade or an invincibility. So while she is very tanky, she does not have a hard counter to noble phantasms. And while she is a bit greedy in her skill, she is very self-sufficient and fits amazingly on a buster team due to her buster centric deck. Not only that, but you can chuckle to yourself and make Jojo references every time she hits the field. I hope that that has given you a good overview of the walking Jojo's meme that is Martha Ruler. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the Patreons who help support this channel. You guys are awesome. If you would like to join them, there is a link down in the description. When you sign up for my Patreon at whatever tier you are comfortable, you will get access to my scripts. I do host private Patreon chill streams where you can watch me work on videos, chat with me, ask me questions, whatever. You can participate in polls to go, hey, what's coming up next? I throw those out there very often, but if you just would like to support the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, drop me a like and a comment, and I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Just run away with my darling. We'll get